raising kids and a partnership, even if that partnership, it doesn't even have to be male or female. Like we could even make the argument of male, male, female, female. I think the main point is to Wait, people wait, wait, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mr. Traditionalism. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up. Are we advocating for same sex partnerships and marriages, Mr. Traditional? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> sure if you guys have been on the internet long enough specifically youtube and it's specifically during the gamergate years pretty much like 2014 to 2017 ish if that's the case then i'm sure you're familiar with a youtuber named no bullshit now we've talked about no bullshit once before i think it was the plus size male models video which um that was that was interesting you're right, you're right, Game Gate. Hey, Spectre. And I went back to his channel again because if you don't know, no bullshit's channel is dying. Like, if you go to his social blade and look at his shit, it's just like falling off a fucking cliff. Um, but I want to cover at least some of his content while he still is on the internet before he's RIP completely, and then we gotta start using the Wayback Machine to go watch this shit. <laughs> So he he did a video on polyamory and he I'm going to assume I haven't watched this yet. I'm going to assume he has an issue with um, polygamy, polyamorous relationships. Which that is his, you know, prerogative to have an issue with that, like no one's trying to force a lifestyle onto him if he doesn't believe that that's the lifestyle for him and his significant other. And so be it. OK. So I'm, I'm curious to what, what his argument's going to be in this and exactly what this um, documentary is because I haven't seen, I don't have HBO, so I haven't seen this documentary. But whatever it is, it's anti-marriage according to NoBS. Hello and welcome back to No BS. Today we return to talking about the lots and lots of propaganda out there that seems to be pushing people into stranger relationships each and every day. Essentially, the left wing controls the propaganda, they control the media, the internet, and a lot of these TV and movie companies, and they've been creating a lot of entertainment and things to consume like movies and shows and documentaries that push people away from traditional marriages. That's when a man and woman get married, they have kids, they raise them. That's that's the traditional American setup, and the left-wing media is very much against that, as we've seen time and time again. I mean, this is my problem when people say shit like traditional blank. Is because it always feels like they want to draw an arbitrary line to where they want tradition to start and end at. Because, as we all know, marriages in America, about half or more end in divorce. There are a lot of single parent households out there. There are a lot of kids who have uh, divorced parents. Um, it, it's super common. You're more likely to be divorced than you are to stay married in this country. That has been this way for, what, the better part of 20, 30 years at this point? So, I, I don't know what we mean by, you know, tr traditionally. It's like, so are we only counting, like, up till 1950 or 60 and then just cutting it off? Are we just going to pretend that the last 20 to 30 years haven't happened? Like, wh where, 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 where does the tradition start and end at? Do we just say, like, okay, this pocket of time is our traditional values and belief systems and everything else and then anything else that happened since then even if it's been for the last hundred years none of that counts that's not tradition that that's not what we really do 
again. Specifically, today we're talking about another kind of idea and concept mm -hmm. they push mm -hmm. out there. They try to glorify a thing called polyamory. Polyamory is basically an open relationship. It means you might be in a relationship with someone, but that person can have other relationships, as can you. You sure. basically have a open relationship. You just go and date other people, and sometimes it's different setups. Sometimes okay. it's two people. Sometimes there's three people. Uh, other times it's like a big group. Like, for example, we talked about this before when there was that polyamorous group in Florida who happened to have like one girl and five guys living in a house. You can imagine how that goes. But the weirdest part about that story, following okay. up on it now, is basically that that was glorified by a YouTube channel called Barcroft TV. Lots of other people picked up the story. And he also assuming that tradition equals good. What if he really cared about traditional marriage? He'd find was to better that institution as opposed to just swatting at alternatives. Yep. In, in the mm -hmm. media, in the press, and they try to push it out there as this cute feel-good story. One of the the girl even got pregnant, and they were all going to raise it together. But that story actually has a bad ending. There was follow-ups on that where the girl ended up having to leave the house because the baby wasn't taken care of properly. All kinds of sad stuff coming out of there. So we're not here to talk about that, but that is a good. But what does that have to do with anything, though? Like, you, you can't make, you can't draw a straight line from the baby was not treated well to polyamory is bad. Like, there's nothing about polyamorous relationships that would inherently make rearing a child and raising a child in that environment inherently bad. Like, I, I'm, I'm not sure how he's like, see? Baby wouldn't take care of, thus polyamory is bad. Like, I'm not seeing how he's drawing that correlation between these two things. That example is what we call cherry picking. Yeah, and he doesn't make arguments to support this, this as the rule. Mm -hmm. wrong, how it's strange and odd and how it's proving that really the mainstream... Actually, hang on one sec. I gotta grab something. I'll be right back. A few moments later. Okay, continue media is against traditional relationships. They don't like people that are straight. They don't like people who get married, have kids, have a family. So they're trying to break that down. And it, that is an interesting way to look at it. No BS. You could say, as opposed to they don't like cis people or they don't like marriage, that they are uplifting these other alternative lifestyles where they are not cis you know heterosexual people where they're not in a traditional relationship just because another group is also getting praise does not take anything away from you it's like he's like a fucking child it's like if you see another kid with a toy you think suddenly your toys have been taken from you like no man like they just have something too now like, just because people are being um, represented more in media, just because different um, lifestyle choices that are outside of what the norms are, are being spotlighted, none of that means it's an attack on you or tradition or anything else. No one's telling you you have to live this way. They're just saying, hey, there are other people who live a life that's not the way yours is set up. That's it. And that's fine. Like, I don't see what the problem is here. And we're going to talk more about it soon. We're oh, you've never seen No BS? Oh, yeah. Mm hmm Yep, this is the man. Talk about how HBO has a new documentary focusing on this story and trying to push more polyamory. It's called There's No I in Threesome. We're going to talk about it right after this quick break. Virtual sh Okay, we're not going to watch him show, but goddamn, guys, could, could, could we have found a more cringier name for this documentary? There's no I in threesome? Oh, my, oh God. This is from E! News. Yep, yep. When someone is threatened by other people being seen as viable, it immediately shows how inadequate they realize they are. True. It says, there's no I in threesome preview seen engaged couple try their hands at polyamory. Dive into one couple's attempt at a polyamorous relationship with HBO Max's There's No I in Threesome coming February 11th. So this seems like it could be an innocent setup. It's not really necessarily bad. Again, to preface this, we're not here to like attack people with different lifestyles, different relationships. That I'm is just 100% what he's doing. The downside. Notice the trend. Notice how straight couples are frowned upon and these kinds of couples are put up on a pedestal
Wait, 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 wait. How does them being polyamorous not make them not a straight couple? Like, I don't know, like, what the details of their relationship are. Like, I don't know if, if like, one or both of them are bisexual or pansexual or anything like that. Like, I, I, I don't know because I haven't seen this and I don't know anything about these people. But how is being in a polyamorous relationship not a straight relationship? I mean, I guess unless by straight he means, like, generally, like, a straight up blank, not, like, straight as in, like, heterosexual. <laughs> when really like we talked about with that florida example these things don't always end well and polyamorous relationships can end really badly it's not a healthy setup in my opinion it's really not for me personally i'm not sure if all of you agree it's not necessarily a big being put on a pedestal stool because the U.S. only gives tax incentives to poly relationships and not, you know, traditional point that we can't right. get past here, but it is something that obviously places like HBO are pushing. HBO has been known to be woke. They support a lot of things like progressive politics, SJW stuff. They're always having minority-driven plots that are anti-white in a lot of ways. They glorify ancient history, like racism from hundreds of years ago. Gets it's man, I swear to God, it's like anyone who has attention on them is not only taking attention away from me, but is attacking me. That's an attack on how dare you recognize the struggles of disenfranchised people. Fuck them. It's about me. All right. Fuck is wrong with you gets brought up in a lot of their shows. Watchmen is an example from a couple years back that comes to mind. Other stuff like that. That's just how was Watchmen? Oh, what, because they talked about the Tulsa Massacre? Of course, of course. They made Dr. Manhattan a black dude, and they talked about the Tulsa uh, Race Massacre. Like, okay, that, yeah, that, that's anti-white people. You're right. Just basically, yeah, this is... It's like, pretend that bad things in the past never happened. I'm like, I swear to God, the next time one of these motherfuckers brings up Waco or any kind of shit like that, I'm like, get over that shit. Shut the fuck up. Like, I don't want to hear that shit. Like no minority group or, or, or oppressed group of any kind, whether it be sexual orientation, your gender, your religion, your ethnic background, whatever. No group can ever have any kind of gripes with anything that ever happened to them. But y'all motherfuckers will constantly bring up these weird ass edge case examples of shit where it's like, oh, they stomped and trampled on our freedom. That's fine coming from HBO is to be expected. Them pushing this polyamorous relationship stuff is really kind of weird and kind of creepy. Oh yeah, good point. It's such a nation laws, yeah. Why would people make laws forbidding interracial marriage? Because they know how... Oh, shy they are? Are you trying to say sly or shitty? Shitty they are. And that if given the option, people will choose something else. That's how you know they're trash juice. So they have to make it illegal to choose anything else but them. It's pathetic, but they, but even they, there is. Because they're like trying to break down the family. It's essentially like other stories we've talked about. I, too. I like, got the gist example, of what you were saying. It was kind of some stories that glorify um, grammar cheating. issues in there, but I like got you. At Christmas, we had a story. There was like someone said, oh, give your husband a free cheat pass and let him cheat for Christmas or something like that. Let your wife cheat as a gift for a birthday. Like really bad, creepy stuff. And it's just like they're trying to sabotage relationships. Like they're trying to push that on you. And obviously that's going to tear them apart. Not a lot of people can handle this kind of cheating and infidelity and things like that it's not common it's not natural i don't think and that's it's why not natural oh oh my god oh my god holy shit it's not natural guys 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 didn't you know didn't you know that the natural state of human beings are monogamous relationships didn't you know that didn't you know that back during like our Neanderthal period and shit that the, 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 the dominant male would just shack up with one female and then that would just be it. They never had relations with other people and it is biologically impossible for once you have a monogamous union with someone for you to have a sexual attraction to someone else. We all know this. It's natural, right? Even in the animal kingdom right all animals are monogamous right they never have other mates they never have like multiple families because that's not a thing 
because monogamy is a natural thing for animals and human beings and it always has been and it always will be duh like, this is so dumb this is so dumb There is nothing natural about the union of marriage. There's nothing natural about courting someone or dating or monogamy or any of that shit. What is natural is for us to fuck whoever is willing to fuck us. And that's it. That is the only thing that you can say. There is no natural monogamy in, in, in nature or in our species history. Like this is stupid. Sure, sure, sure. If, yeah, yeah, if he wanted to make an argument for, but see, he doesn't really want to go into the argument that he would probably want to make for monogamy because then it would make him sound even more racist than he has in the past because he don't want to start going down that road of, you know, we got to make sure we maintain the population and yada, yada, yada. Like, he, I don't think he wants to go down that road. Why we're going to no, talk more should. about it soon. Let's go ahead and read the article first. Engaged but not exclusive. On Tuesday, January 6th, HBO Max released a trailer for its new documentary feature, There's No I in Threesome, which follows a newly engaged couple as they embark on an open relationship. That's Zoe, she's an actress, and this is me, Ollie, I make films. Director and star Jan Oliver Luck starts off in the trailer below. We got engaged one year ago and have been in an open relationship for three months. So I'm already a little confused. I don't get why you would get engaged in and then open courting is natural and relationship dynamics did develop naturally but as a product of social evolution not directly from biology yeah yeah well yeah exactly that, that that that's my point because when he says like the natural it's like man all of this shit is just social constructs and i don't mean like when i say social construct i'm not trying to say that these things don't mean anything because obviously they do we recognize social constructs we adhere to social constructs all the time but there is no biological imperative for this. Like if anything, biologically, the imperative would be to mate with as many people as humanly possible, not to settle down and just keep trying to pump out kids with the same person. In your relationship for three months, it just seems counterproductive. It's like you're not <laughs> enough for each other. You're not wanting to be s exclusive with someone. Like, why even get engaged? It doesn't sound right to me. I don't get what they're going for. It's really a weird kind of contradiction. It's like, also, it just seems to me like it's something they're doing to get attention. They're trying to make a documentary, and it just sounds like an interesting story. And it honestly sounds like they're trying to cash in on this polyamory trend a little bit. Like... Did he forget about that show? Uh, what was it on A and E or something like that? It was like that polygamous family, and then like didn't the feds like go in here and like take all their kids or some crazy shit too? I forget what it was called. If anybody remembers, let me know in the chat. I fuck. What was the name of that goddamn show? We've been saying from the beginning. Like, I, I, I want to say this was like about a decade or so ago. No, <laughs> not why swap. Oh, and don't Google wife swap either. Or if you do Google wife swap, make sure your safe search is turned on. You know, this video, this polyamorous stuff has been trending. Not only do we have oh that God, story swap was about cancer, with Florida that people, show. there's also other videos we've covered. We had another example of very similar to this, actually, on a BuzzFeed video we covered a few years back. BuzzFeed had a polyamory video where a couple tried an open relationship in BuzzFeed. They were, like, making a video about it. It actually ended really badly, too, because the girl was, like, the one pushing for it, and she went and tried, and they both tried, and it turned out, like, the guy did a lot better job at dating again and the girl couldn't find dates she liked and she got jealous and it just turned into a mess like that's another bad example was that buzzfeed one i'll try and link some of these videos below if you want to catch up and get in on these old ones they've been out for a while but they're still good and it's just related to this meme this meme of like pushing polyamory in progressive liberal based media like e-news like buzzfeed like barcroft tv and other people that have covered this this is their goal is to put that out there and it's not the worst 
angle i mean if we didn't think about it a little bit if you didn't have a little bit of class i understand what they're pushing they're pushing this to younger people and it kind of sounds good at face value you're like oh i could be married but also have other relationships like i could get laid in other ways like oh yeah like especially if you're a dude you're like oh i could sleep around and we throw this polyamorous label on it and it makes it sound okay it makes it sound fancy even you're like oh we're polyamorous it sounds like we're, we're like smart or some kind of other thing like evolved or something is kind of how this is pathetic like this is this is legitimately pathetic like holy shit how they want to pitch it to people and i could see why that's enticing but i strongly <laughs> am against that kind of thing like i would never do it hey, not hey, recommend hey, it for hey, anyone hey. i know we ain't body uh, shaming you guys enough. like i'm not saying i'm like we, we went over that whole um plus size male model thing we, we ain't gonna start body shaming them and people like this but in my opinion it really does sound like they're trying to cash in but to be fair he, he does sound a little jelly and it's like they probably weren't even going to get married. They just said, hey, let's get engaged and then make this documentary. And, you know, because what's an engagement? I mean, engagement. Oh, isn't really wow. Now we're just going into conspiracy theory shit about how this isn't this is all a publicity stunt. Like they're not even really like planning on they like don't love each other. They're not really planning on getting married. They just got engaged to make money. I guess because there was a market for a polyamorous documentary that they were tapping into, I, I guess. Really much. It's it's nice to have that right, commitment. Right, what's good? Holy it's shit, you on YouTube, verbal. man. What's All good, you man? Can maybe get someone your rings, but you're not even like signing a paper or officially getting married. While Zoe and Ali may be in love as the preview touts, they are not exclusive. This is made abundantly clear as the trailer. And also, is he even going to actually talk about the movie itself? Or maybe it hadn't came out when he recorded this teases plenty of hookups including the Paris first threesome on why the twosome has chosen to explore polyamory Ali explains the idea is to highlight an alternative to monogamy that you can have your cake and eat it too yet Ali does warn that's how it started anyway although Ali mentions insisting on some rules he finds himself with a girlfriend as well as a fiance speaking for the traditional monogamous in the audience Ali's friend quips you got a fiance and you don't need right? a girlfriend well yeah that's a pretty good point uh, I think this is just kind of a silly idea it's a cash grab Mo and bullshit. it's like part it. of this propaganda that's definitely out there like no one can deny there's a lot true of stories pick, of like this a lot of glorifying of alternative relationships and just kind of like dissing the open dissing the classic standard relationship the, the marriage and raising kids and a partnership even if that partnership it doesn't even have to be male or female like we could even make the argument of male male female female i think the main point is two people committed to each wait, other wait 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 Wait, go back go back wait, wait, wait i didn't catch that what it's definitely out there like no one can deny there's a lot of stories like this a lot of glorifying of alternative relationships and just kind of like dissing the open dissing the classic standard relationship the, the marriage and raising kids and a partnership even if that partnership it doesn't even have to be male or female like we could even make the argument of male male female female i think the main point is to wait people wait wait hold on whoa 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 mr traditionalism whoa 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 back up are we advocating for same-sex partnerships and marriages mr traditional like wait 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 i'm i'm sorry so is the issue just you know what i'm looking at this all wrong i'm i'm looking at it all wrong i i get it now i get it now we should be happy I'm, I don't even know why I'm upset at him. I should be happy. If the Overton window is being pushed to the point where they're willing to, to accept same-sex relationships, but they're against polyamory, I think we're making some progress. We just got to just keep pushing. Just keep pushing. Keep pushing it left. Just the further... I know this is your right. It's my left. Fuck you. Um, Just keep pushing it left as far as it can go. Because I'm shocked at this. Like, I am shocked like how, how do you have such an issue with polyamorous relationships but now suddenly you're okay with same-sex relationships now i'm sure if i go through enough of his videos he'll have an issue with same-sex relationships as well as opposed to traditional relationships whatever but maybe we're making some progress maybe maybe i'm not giving no bs the benefit of the doubt maybe maybe he's changing maybe he's gonna he's gonna be an enlightened centrist by the end of all this who knows committed to each other no third freeze wait, wait wait freeze how do you not know who this is but 
yeah i was gonna say but 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 you know um what's his face oh oh that's right i understand because you can't see him right now that's why hang on here let's let's do this There you go. There you go. Now you can see him. Third, fourth, or fifth parties, just a one-on-one -on -one relationship, raising families, building society, bringing this country to a better place. And really, I think a lot of ways, the polyamorous push is just a way to try to break down regular relationships, a way to split people up, keep us divided. Divide and conquer is a big... I'm still not understanding the, the push part. Just because someone's talking about polyamorous relationships does not mean that they are advocating for you to be in a polyamorous relationship. Like, if I tell you that, if I make a movie about me being an, an, an Olympic swimmer, does that mean I'm trying to push you into trying to become an Olympic swimmer? Like, no, I'm just talking about the thing that I wanna talk about. If, I, if I'm making a documentary about my life, then I'm just telling you my story. I'm not saying you need to do this. I'm not saying that this should be the new accepted norm or whatever the fuck issue you have where you're not being replaced. Traditional marriages and relationships are being replaced. It's just saying, hey, there's alternatives. And this is the one that we've chosen. That's it. If you don't wanna have an open relationship, don't. Like, there... <sighs> liberal tactic they'd also don't like strong relationships and damn freeze don't do them like that <laughs> marriage because then people count on each other and they don't really need the government as much they don't need democrats and their welfare and their free checks and all that stuff so oh it's yeah and that was a good point too hawk um notice he's focusing on the female to multiple male relationships sounds like he's mad he's not one of the multi chads true part of their system they like to reward people by being single single mothers get more welfare things like that and this is a way to kind of sabotage right. relationships and get them to fall apart in this kind of sidious propaganda style that's showing it as a positive thing but really people don't realize it'll definitely come to backfire on them later on the situation becomes more complicated as zoe struggles i i, I love how we're, we're using these absolutes oh it'll definitely backfire later on i've used two anecdotes so that proves the, 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 you know, the rule. With jealousy over Ollie's budding relationship with a new partner. She informs her fiance, just don't go see her all the time. Later on, Zoe says jealousy is just this thing that they've discussed. Still, Ollie appears to experience envy as Zoe gets a new partner. He's heard declaring, I want to stop. In fact, Zoe goes on to wonder if Ollie would leave her if it wasn't for the film. Yikes. The trailer concludes it's an experiment in love, a test of commitment, but in the end, someone always gets screwed. Watch the intriguing new trailer below. Well, I don't think we really need to watch it. I'm sure they would copyright claim it. This guy definitely looks like some sort of soy boy letting his wife or future wife go around bro bro wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute oh shit auto what's good um this is no bullshit bitching about a polyamory documentary on hbo what wait wait wait, wait. why is this why is this guy a soy boy like they're okay all right fine like man like we the umbrella for who is a soy boy is just huge now just holy shit intriguing new trailer below well i don't think we really need to watch it i'm sure they would copyright claim it <laughs> this guy definitely looks like some sort of soy boy letting his wife or future wife go around with other people just so he could sleep with other people it sounds a little selfish okay that is the absolute wrong mindset to have He's trying to make this frame this as he's letting her sleep with other people so he can sleep with other people as opposed to they both just want to sleep with other people as well. It's like, you no, know, he's allowing her to do this so then that he can cheat on her. Like, no, that's not that's not the, the, the mindset people in a polyamorous relationship have fish to me it sounds a little hedonistic and just not a good idea not the way this presented i think it's also misleading and part of a propaganda push that is really worrying right around now that about wraps things up today guys Tell no bs looks like he's been stuffing the tofu computer <laughs> Oh. What you think by commenting below? Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell for notifications. And until next time, have a great day. Yep. And again, like 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 I said earlier, um, the reason we're covering no bullshit so much lately is this this man's channel is like on life support right now. Got over half a million subs, 
and it's like these views are just abysmal like look at this shit man like abysmal like i don't think he's cracked twenty thousand views yeah in, in about like four months like abysmal like how the fuck do you have a channel this huge and you're you're down here in like the lower man okay he did he did he did yeah i know freeze the face cam killed him i know i know i know i know also it's okay to not want poly hammer relationship and only have sexual relationships with one person but why would you be angry at people who do not want that and want yeah exactly <clears throat> exactly poor guy uh, poor guy